My name is Erica Driver, co-founder and principal with ThinkBomb. We are an industry analyst firm covering work-related use of the immersive internet. We founded and operate the ThinkBomb Innovation Community, which currently numbers about 350 advocates, implementers, explorers, and technology marketers. For the past year, we've experimented with the Unlecture presentation format, which is four 10-minute presentations, tours, or demos about work-related use of immersive technologies held in an immersive environment. This video is a record of the community's fourth Unlecture event, which was held on September 11, 2009. Without any planning or coordination, the theme of the event turned out to be innovation. Our first presenter was Charlie Herbeck, Senior Manager with CSC. Charlie joined us from the Washington, D.C. area. CSC is a $16 billion company that provides technology-enabled business solutions and services. The company recently celebrated its 50th anniversary with a series of immersive events. 2,200 of the company's 92,000 employees participated in some way. Charlie pointed out that the development team paid careful attention to design. They tried to make it easy for people new to Second Life to get acclimated. Moving forward, CSC plans to use this environment to reinforce the company culture. The company is very focused on innovation and sees immersive technology as a means of propagating an innovative culture. The bottom line? Ultimately, increased revenues. Our second presenter was Leon Sish, director at Learn for Life, an e-learning consulting company in the UK. Leon talked about a new collaborative innovation project he is launching called Virtual Bletchley Park. Bletchley Park outside of London was a hotbed of code-breaking activity before World War II. It was at Bletchley Park that the German Enigma cipher was finally cracked. Leon Sisch is assembling a team of volunteers to build a replica of Bletchley Park in the virtual world of Reaction Grid. The goal? Assemble a group of people from academia, corporations, and government, put them together to work on something, and see what happens. The culture he's trying to establish will be based on John Seeley Brown's notion of creation nets. Leon's goal is to demonstrate that the collaborative innovation process, as applied to projects conducted in a virtual world, really works. Our third presenter was Jana Lee Redmond, director at the Epoch Institute and innovator at Immersion Tools Jam. Like Charlie Herbeck, Jana Lee joined us from the Washington, D.C. area. Jana Lee's vocation is teaching. She's a dressage instructor, she has a background in training doctors how to use computers, in particular Windows applications. At the Epoch Institute, she offers training sessions to help professionals become comfortable working in an immersive environment. Jenna Lee Redmond also helps run the Immersion Tools Jam. This is a community of practice that meets three times a week in Second Life. The group experiments with and shares learnings related to 3D collaboration, communication, and learning tools. Our final presenter of the day was Cynthia Colloin. She's a professor in the Institute of Advanced Studies at Colorado Technical University. She teaches advanced game design. Cynthia gave an intro to a gaming education kit she designed with members of the faculty at the U.S. Air Force Air University. This serious game was designed to reinforce leadership and teamwork and teach communication skills in the context of a scenario. That scenario is a hostage rescue operation. From the briefing center where they learn about their mission, students pass into a command and control room. From there, they take an elevator down into the main game area. The target students for this learning experience are Air Force Academy cadets, War College students, and faculty. One thing I can't get out of my mind is Cynthia Colloin's description of Dr. Andrew Stricker and Mike McCrocklin, the masterminds behind the game, using their lunch money to fund this learning environment. They brought their lunch to work every day for a year and put their money toward building this proof of concept. About three dozen people participated in ThinkBomb Innovation Community's Unlecture Number 4. 
Participants joined us from all over the U.S. and from Europe, Israel, and Hong Kong. In one hour's time, we learned about four cutting-edge projects in a memorable, hands-on way. We formed new or reinforced existing connections with other innovators and early adopters. If you're interested in attending future ThinkBomb Innovation Community events, send us a request to join the community via our group on LinkedIn.